imagine you ask an expert about the maximum temperature tomorrow in Delft. It is an uncertain quantity, and what she will assess are three quantiles. That is the 5%, the 50%, and the 95% quantile. Let's say her assessments are 15 for the 5% quantile, 22 for the 50% quantile, and 27 for the 95% quantile. With the 5% quantile of 15, she is assessing a lower bound, so that she believes there is a 5% chance that the true maximum temperature tomorrow is lower than 15. Similarly, she believes that there is a 5% chance that the true maximum temperature tomorrow is higher than 27. Her best guess is 22, that is the median or the 50% quantile which means there is an equal chance of 50% that the true value is lower or higher than 22. We say that the expert is 90% confident that the true maximum temperature lies within the lower and upper bound. We also see that these three quantiles assessments define four intervals or interquantile ranges. One up to the 5% quantile, one from the 5% to the 50% quantile, one from the 50% up to the 95% quantile, and the fourth one from the 95% quantile onwards. So the true value would lie within one of these four interquantile ranges. Imagine we ask our expert not one, but a hundred questions. And for each question, she provides three quantiles, which determine the four interquantile ranges. With expert's 5% quantile, she believes that there is a 5% chance that the true value lies below the 5% quantiles. So we expect that from the 100 questions, five will have the answer below expert's 5% quantiles. We expect the expert to overshoot 5% of the times. Similarly, we expect the expert to undershoot 5% of the time, that is, in 5 questions out of 100. <laughs> Finally, we expect that she captures the realizations in 90 out of 100 questions, from which 45 are expected to be between the 5% and the 50% quantile, and 45 to be between the 50% and the 95% quantile. This leads to the theoretical probability vector P, which is P1, P2, P3, P4, equal to 0 0.05, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, and 0 0.05, which gives the expected proportion of realizations in each interval. In practice, experts' interquantile ranges do not usually capture the true realizations at the expected frequency. Experts' observed proportion of realizations in a given interval will be different than the expected proportion, and this difference will lead to the so-called statistical accuracy or the calibration score. Let's take an example of an expert's assessments for 10 calibration questions. Assume all are weather-related questions asking about the maximum temperature in Delft over the next 10 days. The three quantile assessments are provided. Assume we wait 10 days and get the realizations for all the 10 questions. In three out of 10 questions, the expert overestimated, while he underestimated in one question. Four questions had the realization between 5% and 50% quantiles whereas two questions had the realization between the 50% and 95% quantile. This leads to the vector of observed proportion of realizations, S, which is S1, S2, S3, S4, is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and 0.1. In order to measure how different the vector S is from vector P, we use the relative information of S with respect to P, or the kullback leibler divergence, which measures the difference between the two distributions. It is denoted by I of S and P, which is the sum over I from 1 to N, 
SI times the logarithm of SI divided by PI. For our example, I of S and P is equal to 0.3 times the logarithm of 0.3 over 0.05 plus 0.4 times the logarithm of 0.4 divided by 0.45 plus 0.2 times the logarithm of 0.2 divided by 0.45, plus the 0.1 times the logarithm of 0.1 divided by 0.05, which is 0 0.397. By convention, if SI is 0, then SI times the logarithm of SI divided by PI is always 0. It is known that in our setting, 2 times m times the i of s and p is asymptotically following a chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom for m large enough. Based on this result, we define the statistical accuracy or the calibration score of an expert E as 1 minus f evaluated at 2 times m times the relative information of experts probability vector with respect to the true probability vector p, where f is the cumulative distribution function of the chi-squared random variable. For our example, we get that the calibration score is actually equal to 0 0.059. So the statistical accuracy of the expert is 0 0.059. We can compute in this way the statistical accuracy of any expert. Note that the calibration score is a number between 0 and 1. The higher the calibration score, the improved statistical accuracy. Thanks for your attention.